Okay, so Cassie. Talk. Hello. Hola. Como esta? Donde esta la biblioteca? That means I don't make deals. I want to slap you. All right, we're we're good. The the Dangan Rumpa stopped. So uh, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is before some uh, shenanigans huh? go down. We stop right before a good part. When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. Wait, did we just? We fell oh, okay, asleep. okay. No, this isn't the event I was thinking of. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? I wonder. Mm. Not what I'm trying to interact with. <laughs> hey Gabe, could you turn the- uh, never sorry. mind. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? I have no ulterior motives for this. At all. Give me that dick knife. Saka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> something weird? Lakota. Just a little while ago, I was. L er, that's you. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been Wait, spe that was definitely supposed <laughs> to be her. <laughs> Wait, what? Game? Hello? Are you okay? Are you good? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Her voice didn't like the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. <laughs> Probably because it was me talking. <laughs> Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Lakota. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during night time. But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... Then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? Well, it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um, but, but two people sharing one room is... you know... Ah. Uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um. No, I know, me either. It's not even that I mind the idea. Ha <laughs> ha, ha ha, Nagy. But. <laughs> What's the meme? What? There's uh, a it, it, It's the one that ends in, like, but what? But what if or something? Oh, right, 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 right. Unless it's a Hamilton meme. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my... Yeah, but I don't mind you staying in my room, but... What? Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... Bing bong. Hello, fuckers! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. 
Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. God, I missed this Monokuma. Mm. Yep. Oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we'd better trade keys too. <laughs> ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Uh, again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Like I said, I'm psychic. She said it before her. Yeah. Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way onto her face. Thank goodness. That's a looks smile, like my god. That's that's a smile. <laughs> that's what that's what we call a smile right there. I can see it. That's a <laughs> smile. I mean, it's missing like a third of the smile, so it's not quite a smile. You can see how it's just kind of like almost scrubbed off. Thank goodness. It looks like she started to finally she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we'd better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um, Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob and lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Um, okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Yo, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Or, like, do you not Wait, have what? to pee? <laughs> yeah. You fucking robot? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, both like, of I them. have to go to the bathroom right before I go to sleep. Like, I don't give a damn the shower doesn't work. Mm. Okay, well, I'd better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm? I am psychic. I read your mind. Let's dick down. Shit. Yeah. All right. Wait, exactly. When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're a liar, that's what I know. Good night then. See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile and I headed to off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got out into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Make Everybody's sure, dead. Make sure nobody was around to spot me. I rushed into Sayaka's room. Yo, the trash can and pillow are pink. Let's so this go. is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we'd found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never get a chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. My room came with the toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it, the map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself in Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance engulfed me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Dude. Maybe, but you won't have such sweet awakenings. Feeling a little better than before. I fell asleep. Monica Mathita. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But 
Even in our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I do hope that I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Bing, Bing bong. bong. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Such a good one. I sat up still half asleep and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. Oh man, wild. I left Sayaka's room and made my way towards the dining hall. Not even gonna get Sayaka to go with us? Damn, Nai, yeah, that's pretty few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> oh my god, oh, good morning! Can you believe it? It was the first time- I was the very first person here this morning! <laughs> oh shit. Good morning. Makoto. Morning. <clears throat> I suppose I am early. Why are there so many goes. girls? Come on, fuck off. I figured everyone who had arrived at this time could be considered model of high schoolers. Also, it's a two to three ratio. Fuck off. And the ones who show up a little late. <laughs> real hands to no. shut up. Oh my god. I, Cassie, I, I was what? saying me and Mister. Hall monitor. <laughs> no, I was talking about the characters, you fucking idiot. What? I'm so confused what you're talking about. Three girl voices, one guy voice. Two. There was so me. Mondo showed up. No. There, there's oh. Hall Monitor and Makoto. Oh, I forgot about Nagi. Nagi's <laughs> just. I read count. everything he says. Yo. He doesn't count. Sorry I'm late. My makeup would just not cooperate this morning. Well, my well. apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning uh, duties took a little longer than usual. Also, Owie's a model high schooler? Okay. We're the types with the more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. I mean, she's a sports star. You have to be on time to be constantly good at that. I guess, but most sports people wouldn't technically be considered good at school. I mean... She's a model sport, the sports person, not some layabout or anything, so she'd be considered one of the good ones. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. Oh, fuck. I suppose this. I'm late. <laughs> Morning, y'all! My bad, my bad. What's your problem? What? Is she so awful to be late? Yo. I don't know if it's sleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to of move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go until you looked at the actual cast list and we're missing someone. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Uh, well, two. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Biaka God. Biaka God does not count. Yeah. He is He's not a person. person. God damn it. Uh, moving on. <laughs> you gonna read this? Oh shit. No, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, Sayaka and Byaki aren't here either yet. I don't know about Byaki, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high school category. So for her to be so late. What? What's going. How did I voice him? I What's going know. on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, uh, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> what would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Did she forget about her breakfast promise? However, I got the sense she's always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I, I need to go. I have to check on her. 
The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night. Where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? So, first off, the room was left unlocked. But I just realized a question I'm going to have to ask you later. Alright? What? Remind me. Actually, okay. I'm going to cut this real quick and ask, just for the sake of the video. It's the display stand the sword was on. More importantly, we're Sayaka. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where is Sayaka? It looks like the lint roller has way less sheets than it used to. More importantly, where is Sayaka? There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It's sheath for the, it's the sheath for the replica sword. The sword itself has been removed. More importantly, where is Sayaka? The toolkit is still inside the drawer and it's still sealed. More importantly, where is Sayaka? <laughs> didn't even you didn't get to look at that yet. The bed's been damaged too. Now's no time to be staring at some stupid surveillance camera. Where's Sayaka? Yeah, I'm trying to interact with that. I was trying to see if I could interact with anything else. There are slashes and gouges on the walls of the floor. But more importantly, where is Sayaka? I don't have time to think about this damn monitor. Well, I've put off doing this, so this is the water. Wait. Nine. Yeah, that's it. That's... No, I can't interact with that. Okay, well... I better check the bathroom. Ooh, do you really want to do that? Do you want to do that, my uh, Because you might see something you don't want to see. Uh, look. Inside. You might not like what you want. Be careful what you wish for. And she's dead. Oh god, she got in the splat fest and passed out. There's actually, like, some uh, art you can get um, for doing something, I don't remember, where uh, it was a test of the game, I think, where it's Hagakure in this position. <laughs> I love Damn. looking at that. Damn, we could have... Damn, that would have been amazing. It took me a second Damn, to realize that, that was good screaming. When I, saw shitty it, when I saw it dug its way through mm -hmm. my eyes and buried itself in my brain, and then, and then... And then... Everything went black. I passed out like a pussy bitch. Deadly, Deadly life. life. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw everyone looking at one. Someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, you're awake! Finally, are you okay? Now's no time for sleeping! Get your ass up! Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well... It is no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Um... Hey, are you okay? It wasn't a dream. I saw it. It was real. Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka... I have to see... Sayaka is. Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. What? Listen to us, man. What do you think you're gonna? It's gonna happen if you go out there. What good is it gonna do sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? My friend, Sayaka, she's, she's dead. Gary's mod. Yeah, when I said that, it finally hit me. 
I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, she told us how to come here. Monokuma, huh? Monokuma's my favorite character. I know. <laughs> Underrated. Well, hold on! Don't talk like that! We all protested it! I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay, but... So... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that! If you believe anything, you can believe that! <laughs> Um, Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. I'm famous as Safari Park, so the world for following the bare times one rule. But, but... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is... One of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Well, what? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? You all look like you're about to see a dove get shoved up a shot up with a gun, Gatling gun. I was really concerned for a moment, but now I'm yeah. equally concerned. Um, <laughs> don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yay! One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Boner. Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What, what is this? S someone killed someone? <laughs> it's amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's cuz, uh, naive. You're just so naive. <laughs> You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz around out of here. You're all super naive. De devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing. Are you ready? You want me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You're referring to rule number six of the school regulations. Anyone who, if you're blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you're, oh, sorry, this is your line. I didn't oh, realize sure. I was just reading it. That's what you're talking about, right? In other words. Bingo, it's not enough Bing to just kill just enough to kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So a certain amount of time after murder's taking place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Yep, it'll begin a few afters, hours after the murder. Everyone will get together, including the black and committed the murder, and they, and the spotless students, will all engage in one big debate showdown. No matter what, any of these games have really good music. Oh yeah. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. Okay, so it's not it's uh, majority, not whatever that word is to make everyone agree. Unanimous. Yeah. Thank you. Only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However. If you choose poorly, 
then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Incorrect. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Slaps you on the ass with a ruler, Hifumi. What the fuck do you think it is? I mean, I'm in the butt. Hmm. Me too, but it's murder. <laughs> oh, well, it's always it's simply, murder. it's execution. Yeah. Yeah. Execution? What? And um, by execution, you mean... A computer program? Wait, that's executable. Execution is execution. Execution. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die, but if we get it wrong, all of the rest of us get executed? What a smart little champion Z you are! Oh, look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically that the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Mm -hmm. But judge carefully because all of your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. You're freaking insane, you know that? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. How are you talking about? What? Punishment? I don't know. I might throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up. The hell up. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't, don't, don't be worry. so selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. Evil standing right before me. I'm trembling with fear. Jeez. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist to the very end. If you're really getting, if you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle. But then, damn, no panty shop. That face. Why is she making that face? It wasn't that serious. Are you enjoying yourself now? <laughs> Are you? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. I am. Oh. I invoked the mighty spear Gungir, I think was it what it said. That was weird. <laughs> oh, hey. Wow. What is with these splat fests out of nowhere? I don't know. People really like Splatoon. Is there a way to. <laughs> No, what? that's what I do. I was trying to see if there was a way to, uh, like, backlog to check my. No. Okay. Uh, this wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No bye bye, Junko. Her hair looks a lot smaller when she's dead. What the? I don't. No way! Well, now. Now I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping in for no good reason, you know. But I guess you'll need to be taught a lesson after all. Oh, wow, what an amazing promise! Now, but now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. 
I mean, what if I you dodged all the spears? Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. Unbelievable amount of blood starting pour it, started pouring out of her body. Is that what you call that? It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who up until a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. You say friend, but really I barely knew what alone liked her. And I'm just really happy I don't have to I feel like the only person anymore. they don't count as friends is like Byakuya. Maybe Toko. I think everybody else they generally consider a friend. Okay. In simpler terms, it was the death of a human being. Um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. She went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable device in the entire human race. God, that's a mood. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. This isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. And this is reality. Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. Uh, no, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste this whole waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well, now. Anyway, none of this matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blackens. This little file is all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it... I mean, naturally, you guys aren't really experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstance and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then... Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do! If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. But seriously, you don't have a choice. Anyways... Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. Whenever I think you've interacted with everything you can. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. Because now, Cassie has two less voices she has to do. Booyah. Woo! <laughs> it was oh, also yeah. the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Now's not the time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose our faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is of course up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anyone. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened! Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we are all going to die here. <laughs> She's right, so we need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. 
We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> we just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were just using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why. I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Alright. Starting with, uh, the left. Toko Fukawa. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. Fumi? Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They. We can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Huh? Um, What's going on? Huh? Is this really happening? Me. Screw that piece of shit bear! Um, I feel like talking to her would be a bad idea at the moment, so I'll talk to everyone else first. Yeah. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you finally noticed. What the crap? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received. And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Yes. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead and take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Mon in Makoto's dorm. Ah. What? She's right! Then, could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned towards me. Hold on a sec, you've got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Tell us the truth! The look in everyone's eyes had a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The film of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Yeah, they bugging. Hmm. We need to hurry and figure out who the culprit is. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution? That's just what the ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid! Hearing that from you, oof. I don't think she's got anything to say, Gabe. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I trust her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Kick her in the ribs, just to be sure. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries, I'm losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Hold on. Hold on, just, just wait a second! She's dead? Then that means... That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Oh no, no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Someone help me! What's your problem? You're just accepting that? Just now? Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to do, decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hm. You think you're putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't really like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. 
Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? What the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't that obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Ugh. Fuck you! So then. Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Team player co-op base defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Since, Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but... I'll try. So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and figure out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say anymore? Perhaps you be. I'd rather you did it now! Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. I'll be going too. Just like Kyoko, who was gone before we realized yeah. it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this right here, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um, but. I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? How are we gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very it was you! I'm telling you it wasn't me! Don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me next? I actually really like that. That, uh, portrait. So, um. Yeah. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um, That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Huh. I'm not good with b b blood. You're in the same room as a corpse. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Bullshit, there's a corpse right there. Oh yeah? Wait, don't go yet, you have to hear me out. It was pointless, everyone had already left. Their parting looks at me had, me filled with, had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something, otherwise everyone will. Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka.